What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here, and before we get into today's video, I want to give a special shout out to my friends over at FamilyVideo.com. They are currently having a sale on over 200 Funimation titles, Blu-rays, and DVDs on their site, up to 50% off, meaning that the DVDs aren't going to be 50% off. It's up to 50% off, so I do want to make that part clear. But they are having a sale on a lot of Funimation Blu-rays, and you guys know if you've been watching the channel for a while, I do love me some anime Blu-rays, especially Funimation titles because they mostly get the Shonen Jump stuff. And my friends over at FamilyVideo.com were nice enough to send me a little gift to, you know, show some of the Funimation titles. Look, look guys, you know that I'm starting to get into the Gal series when it comes to manga, so I definitely had to get my first girlfriend as a Gal on Blu-ray because come on, Come on, it was either this or prison school, and you guys know how I get down with stuff like that. I also wanted to mention, guys, that if you do want to go on there and want to save a little bit extra money, go ahead and use my code DARKSAGE to get you 10% off of your purchase with additional savings already there. And I do want to make this clear, I do not make any commission off this, so this is basically a gift from me and Family Video to you guys who want to support the industry and support a smaller business. I want to say thank you to Family Video for gifting me that coupon code and gifting me my first girlfriend as a guy. You guys know what I'm about to do right after I shoot this video right here. But like I said, I wanna give them a special thank you. Now, let's get to the video. What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here. And we are here with another episode of Come Shop With Your Boy. The series where it's kind of like a vlog, kind of like a shopping, I guess a haul type of video where I basically I take you on the stores with me where we go out on the hunt, we go do some exciting things. And in today's video, y'all probably already seen it from the thumbnail, or you probably seen it from the title. Today, we are going to meet the voice actor of Goku, AKA Sean Skemmel. I don't know if I said his name wrong. If I did, you guys probably gonna correct me in the comments, but you guys know who I'm talking about. The most known voice actor for Goku is from Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. And today we are going to get some SIGs cause y'all guys know that I like to add to my SIGs collection whenever I can. And I got the boy with me, he's right there off camera, but we're gonna do that. We're gonna get a little SIG action. We're also gonna hunt for some manga with my boy Jerry. And we're probably gonna have a good time in this video, but before we get started with the video, because I'm doing my intro right before I actually go line up, because there's a line right there, and I'm pretty hungry. But before we get into the video, I gotta say shout out to my Patreon pledges for going ahead and financially supporting the channel. I gotta say I highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me financially, holding it down over there on Patreon. If you guys want to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description down below. I gotta say you guys deserve the biggest Dark Sage hug. Secondly, I gotta give a shout out to Bro Boy Gang, aka Notification Squad, for already coming through to the video. They saw the notification, they already commented Bro Boy Gang, they already liked the video while the ad was playing, and they know I highly appreciate that. But if you're not a part of Broke Boy Gang yet, don't worry. It's easy. It's for free. Go ahead. Hit the subscribe button. Like the video. You, all you guys got to like the video. Please share the video as well. And comment your thoughts. And hit the post notification bell. That way you know whenever I do newer and doper stuff. And lastly, if you have not followed me on all my other social media accounts, go ahead. Check my links in the description down below. So. Let me eat. And then we're going to go meet Sean. We also got this scribe right here. The Spider-Man himself. If you guys don't get that reference, it's a Twitch reference, so check out my Twitch. <laughs> so I forgot to say, before we actually line up, let me go ahead and show you some of the pops that I'm gonna get signed or I plan to get signed. First one up, we got this pop right here, Super Saiyan God Goku, the, uh, what is it? The Comic-Con exclusive, the 2020 Comic-Con exclusive, gifted to me from my boy Jojo himself. We also have the first appearance of Super Saiyan Goku when he was on Planet Namek fighting Frieza. King Kai, in case some of you guys did not know that he did voice King Kai. And Ultra Instinct Goku. I mean, come on. I, I, I could not have this signed in my collection. You get what I'm saying? Death Note, all what, what are we looking at? That's nasty. Please put that down. We got Death Note all in one. We got the Bakuman, Bakuman box. Bakuman. That's a crazy thing. No, sorry. You're going to actually buy this stuff. Will you be purchased? So tempted. <laughs> just carry it with you. <laughs> he said, I'll just, I'll just carry it. Jerry, what are we doing at Barnes and Nobles? I'm looking at Mondo. Because why not? Can we just put it back? I'm looking at Mondo because we have time to show while we wait for Sean Chamel. So yeah. Let's see what we can find, boys. Now 
nah, my boy, what you doing with all this spider right here? I just got it. <laughs> no, you, I just got you literally was like, I'm trying to buy all this. Yo. <laughs> Don't believe him, guys. He is down this, bad for that spider. Disrespectful. Spider Man. No, Very why are we here? You're looking for these nasty sodas. I was hoping there'd be something on this wall. This is stupid. I hate it. Where are we looking, guys? I mean, they have the super rare. Uh... No, they're every. Come on, this is super rare, dude. They have that at every super rare. Yeah. Somehow they got all the love. You need. All right, guys. So we have obviously been to a lot of places. Uh, we obviously had to get the, you know, the signings from Sean Scammell or Sean Scammell. I, I still don't know how to say his name, even after I met him. But I gotta say that the signing went well. Overall, it was very disorganized. Um, the whole event overall, I'll probably touch more on it when I get home and I show you the hall and everything. But overall, the event was disorganized, but we did end up with the signatures and JSA authenticated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're official in this bad boy. Sheesh. 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 But besides all that, we all have went to plenty of places. We went to Barnes and Nobles, Thank Geek, GameStop. What else we went to? We went to Movie Trading Company. Um... Oh, there they go, right there. We are parked outside of a comic book store, so hopefully we find something good in here. We went to a half price books just a while ago. Nothing too good, it was completely a bust. You probably seen in the video. And uh, hopefully this comic book store does have something. If I do get footage of it, and if it's good, I'll give it to y'all. But if it's not, you know, I, I'll let y'all know. And I won't, I won't, um, I won't give you all those nightmares that I'm probably gonna have to suffer through if there's, if there's nothing in there. So yeah, we'll see about that right now. All right, guys, so we just came from the comic book store in Arlington. Hopefully, I'll put the name of it right down below me because I it's escaping me right now. But right now, we're at another comic book store called Multiverse Comics and Games. Hopefully, I can get some footage in here as well. Obviously, you guys know I got the footage since I just showed it a while ago. But hopefully, we find something good. I didn't personally buy anything in that store. But guys, when I get to the crib and I show you all this nasty man manga, I bought because I definitely bought some more nasty man manga. I mean, I'm a very nasty man at this point in time. So hopefully we find something good. Hopefully we find something fire. And I'll see you guys afterwards. Right, guys so i am back in the lair and man today was a very 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 expensive hunt for you boy i mean i probably spent over 400 dollars on cigs figures 
and a whole bunch of nasty man manga. But guys, I know the clips are kind of shoddy of me actually going to all these places, but honestly, it's kind of hard to record in all these places because you don't want to invade someone's privacy or kind of record people and they don't want to be recorded or be seen on camera or anything like that. And I definitely don't want to deal with a lawsuit. So I'm hoping that the footage before kind of suffices for the hunt part of this video right here. But yes, this is another episode of Come Shop with the Boy. Now it's the part of the video where I actually get to show you guys my haul. First part of this hunt we have here is the actual Sean Skemmel signatures that I got for some of the figures from Dragon Ball Z. If you guys did not know, I am a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z. In fact, I grew up on Dragon Ball Z. I basically say that Dragon Ball Z is basically my first anime or my gateway anime to actually put me into the realm of anime itself. So being able to get a signature from Sean Skemmel, the voice of Goku himself, I had to get a few signatures. And let me go ahead and show you guys on some of the Funko Pops I have. First one up we have is Goku as Super Saiyan, the first appearance when he is on Namek Fighting Frieza. And I believe that this bad boy is super, super dope. One of my favorite moments within Dragon Ball Z, I had to get this pop and I had to get it signed. As soon as I got this pop, I knew that I was going to have to get this signed one way or another. And I'm so glad that I was able to go meet Sean Schimmel, especially in person, because I love to get my SIGs in person. I, I mostly have all my SIGs in person, except for like two or three, which came from like Zobi boxes. But yeah, Sean Schimmel's signature in yellow paint pen right here on Goku first appearance as Super Saiyan. Secondly, we got up Super Saiyan God Goku from, I believe, Battle of Gods. I really want to say this is from Battle of Gods, but this is a 2020 Comic-Con exclusive, so I believe this is just part of the anime of super in general it can either be part of the tournament of power or from battle of gods the arc itself but right here we got sean samuel signature in a red paint pen right here and it's jsa authenticated as well next pop up we got is king kai i know a lot of people probably don't know that he actually voices king kai but honestly i had to get king kai signed because i'm pretty sure a lot of people don't actually have this pop sign i think it's pretty unique to get a signature from sean skimmel on a non-goku pop so I had to get king kai signed because come on i had to get a non-goku funko pop sign from Sean because he does voice two characters, Goku and King Kai. It's funny because he told me that Chris Sabat actually voices Bubbles the monkey from Kikai's planet. So I don't know if he was joking or if that's serious. I probably have to look it up after this video, but that was a pretty funny note right there. And lastly, I had to get Goku Ultra Instinct Mastered Sign. I had to get this one signed. I know a lot of people say that this is basically a legendary transformation for Goku. Honestly, I don't think it's legendary compared to forms like Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan 3, even though I really don't like Super Saiyan 3, but that's another topic for another video. But I had to get Goku Ultra Instinct signed. This was a moment in Dragon Ball Super. Not a legendary moment, but it was definitely a moment within Dragon Ball Super. I gotta say that the time that I had to actually meet Sean Scammo, he was a very cool person, very dope person. He talked to me and my little brother about Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super, and just about like his views on like uh, Goku voice acting and Gogeta himself. Honestly, a lot of the rumors that I have heard about him or watched videos about him on YouTube, I don't think that they're fully true only because it has been time since those videos and obviously people can change since then. So I don't want to hold someone accountable for things they've done in the past when they could have changed as a person. So honestly, me and Sean Skimmel was a pretty cool experience. I met Chris Sabat before obviously as well. So hopefully I get to meet those two together and hopefully I can get two Vegito signed. That would be super dope. But if they came up with a Gogeta pup, I would buy that bad boy just to get that bad boy signed. But yeah, overall, the experience of meeting Sean Skimmel was cool, but I gotta say the people that actually organized it, I'm not gonna put them on blast on this video, but if you are a Texas native, you know who I'm talking about. I feel like the whole organization of this whole event was just really, really disorganized. Honestly, guys, if we could better prepare or probably better list out some of the details that you want us customers to actually do or use in the next time something like this happens, I hope you guys actually hear this feedback, and I hope that you guys, I guess, work out the kinks next time, because a lot of information wasn't clear to a lot of people in the slime because a lot of people ask me whether they need a cash or whether they can use card or whether they could do quotes or whether they could do videos or whether they can't do pictures whether tickets were available for five people or one person it was just a lot of confusion among a lot of people with this whole event but honestly i'm glad that i was able to get these pops signed that was the main purpose of this event was to get these fungo pops signed and actually meet sean skemmel in person now while me and the gang were in the area we had to go pick up some manga, guys. There's plenty of manga pickups in this video right here, but we had to go pick up some manga. And we went to Barnes & Nobles. I did pick up three volumes of manga. The first having to be is N Nisekoi. N Nisekoi. Basically, this was recommended to me by my boy Jerry. He said that the type of anime or the type of like manga that I like to watch or read, he said this would definitely be my speed, and it is a bit spicy. So you guys know that I love my spicy. I love it. I love it. Muy caliente. But yeah, I had to get Nisekoi. He recommended it to me. And honestly, just from the front cover, I'm hoping my boy is a Chad. 
I'm hoping you get some women. That's all I gotta say. I have no opinions on this so far. I have not read this volume yet, but I am taking a chance on it. Next two volumes I actually got from Barnes & Noble is Gigant or Gigant. I don't know how to say it, but oh my gosh. When you actually read the main premise of this manga, pure nasty man right here's a synopsis you guys can actually pause it and read it yourself i'm not going to read it because i don't want the youtube algorithm to um hurt this video right here so yeah go ahead pause it read it if you want but woo, this bad boy now that's nasty i can't wait to read it and we also have peter grill guys guys i know i'm down bad i'm cutting 4k look that's the average on this channel. If I'm not counting 4K, I gotta be sick of something because you guys know that I'm the resident nasty man. I'm your friendly neighborhood nasty man. Mm, I don't think I like the way that that sounded coming out of my mouth. But you guys know what I mean. But right here, we have the first volume of Peter Grill. My boy Jerry was in Barnes Nobles daring me to get some new nasty man manga. And you guys know that, you know, I, I try, to, try to try new nasty man manga because I can't be the resident nasty man if I ain't reading no nasty man manga. So yeah, Peter Grill, I heard this actually has an anime adaptation. I have never seen it at all. I haven't even seen it like on my watch list or on my recommended type stuff, which is kind of surprising. But right here, Peter Grill and the Philosopher's Time. Let me show you guys a synopsis. Obviously I can't read it because you know, I still want to get paid, but I'm gonna show you guys a synopsis. Right here's the synopsis. You guys can pause this and read this if you want. Woo, this is premium nasty man you guys know i'm about to tear this bad boy up this is definitely going in the research pile i mean uh, uh i mean the reading pile not research <sighs> Let, let's get to the next part of the haul so we actually stopped by hot topic and you guys know i'm kind of dwindling down or kind of quitting funko pops and honestly there's really no point for me to go to hot topic but i will say this now hot topic does have the fire tees i walked into that bad boy and i saw this and i had to have it this hunter hunter tie-dye shirt Ooh, this bad boy is fire. It's like $29, but I had to get this bad boy. This is clean right here. Now, if only the actual series could stop being on hiatus, that'd be even cleaner. But this shirt is definitely fire. I had to get a new anime tee because I feel like my, my fits be lacking a little bit. I feel like y'all clowning me in the comments sometimes. Like, I need to up my drip game. But yeah, this tee was pretty costly, but you know, it ain't nothing to a boss like your boy Dark Sage. This bad boy is fire in itself. All right, guys, so like I said, this is a very nasty man manga haul in this Come Shop With The Boy episode. I wish I could show you all the manga that I saw, all the nasty moments that my boy Jerry was trying to put me on, which I understand. I mean, you can't have a good friend and be nasty and he can't be nasty. You got to make him a little nasty, too. I guess you could say I kind of corrupted him. But yeah, right here, my boy Jerry recommended me this manga when we saw it at Movie Trading Company. And he told me if I didn't get it, he would get it. And first of all, you don't challenge the nasty man himself on a nasty challenge. No, 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 no. Because I'm, I'm going to step up to the plate. And I had to get 10 volumes, which they were all 2 dollars I had to get 10 volumes of Battle Vixen. And I heard that this is supreme nasty. Just looking at this front cover right here. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And then that movie train company, it was behind the little glass where not regular uh, customers can actually get it. You have to actually go get an employee to unlock that bad boy. So 10 volumes of Battle Vixens and just the front cover look like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of nasty man manga to read. I might not show up on YouTube for a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to lie to y'all because <laughs> you bored Dark Sage might be out of it. You know what I'm saying? Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm being too nasty. But I did get 10 volumes for $2.99 each, which came out to about like $30 something dollars. So honestly, I can't wait to read it. Now, we did stop by two comic book stores, and the last one we actually stopped by was Multiverse. And I never heard of this comic book store, but my boy Jerry said we should go there, and obviously we went there. And they had a few uh, anime figures and a few manga, but this is really what caught my eye. This super action statue of Jotaro Kujo in part four with his part four drip. I had to get this. You guys know that I love super action statues. You can see this on my shelf right here. And this isn't even all of my super action statues. I have some of them actually in the box because you know, sometimes less is more. But right here, I had to get this part four Jotaro Kujo and oh my gosh. It cost me about $104. But I believe it's worth it because this is a line of figures that I really, really love because you guys know JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is one of my favorite animes, one of my favorite manga series. So I definitely got to get the figures whenever I can because it's really rare to come upon JoJo Bizarre Adventure figures. So yeah, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable, Jotaro Kujo in his Part 4 outfit. I think that this is fire and Jotaro Kujo 
he just got that drip. Now, since I was meeting up with my boy Jerry, we did pick up some things for each other each of the times we went to Kino Kenia. So finally today we met. <sighs> I actually forgot to bring his stuff. I'm sorry, Jerry. If you're watching this, I'm really, really sorry. But he did bring the items that he bought for me. And it's these two Shonen Jump covers right here. One with Mash on the one with a ICU. I believe that's what it is. But these are two newer series within Shonen Jump that are currently serializing. And you can read these on the Shonen Jump app. I'm not a sponsor. But if they want to sponsor you, boy, I wouldn't be mad at that either. But these are two series that are actually in Shonen Jump. Right here is Mashal, and right here is I Can Tell or ICU, something like that. But I had to get these Shonen Jump volumes because you guys know that I'm collecting Shonen Jump volumes. So thank you, Jerry. And lastly, since I guess I can't spend enough, we picked up some more manga at Kino Kaneya. We got some Nasty Man manga. We got some of my usual Shonen manga. But whew. I gotta quit for a while. I actually need to sit down and read it, which the funny part is, some of this is actually continued stuff or some of this is newer stuff, like one to two volumes of newer series, which it's really easy to read some of these series since the volumes are so thin and you know it's nasty, man. So it's more about the picture than the actual words itself. First one up we got is Peter Grill Volume 2. Now I couldn't just get Volume 1 because honestly, if I love Volume 1, I would have really needed Volume 2. And honestly, since I got Volume 2 right here, I really won't need it that bad now. Now if I need Volume 3, I will run to that store myself, even if my car is on E. I will run to the nearest Barnes and Nobles and pick up that Peter Grill. But I'm really surprised that this was wrapped itself. But yeah, Peter Grill, volume two. <laughs> I'm a nasty man. We got Fire Force volume 13 with Charon on the front cover. This is one of my newer favorite characters from Fire Force, at least from season two. Season two was really a dud, but I do have two new favorite characters from Fire Force in season two. Sharon and the other black guy who uh, glows kind of like with all the lights around him. I'll probably put a picture of him on the screen right now, but honestly, Sharon, one of my favorite characters, especially the way that he uses his fire abilities. I think that's super, super fire. I think the one thing I have to give Fire Force, even though I dog it all the time, is that the uniqueness with all the people who use their fire abilities, I really, really do enjoy it. But yeah, this series, super, super mid, but I enjoy it for mindless fun. Next one up we got is Nisekoi. Nisekoi, I think that's how you say it, volume two. And obviously, like I said about Peter Grill, I can't just have volume one. I need to have volume two as well because if I would have read volume one, I loved it. Oh, I need volume two. Or if I really wasn't feeling volume one, I need to read volume two so I can get a little more clarity within the series and see whether I like it or not. I kind of have this rule where I need to read three volumes of it. If I read three volumes, I really don't like it, then I'm probably gonna drop it. It's like the three episode rule of anime. You watch three episodes, you don't like it, you kind of drop it, except for JoJo's. That's a different story, but except for JoJo's, apply that with mostly any other anime. We also have Dead Man Wonderland 6 right here, and I'm currently waiting to get all these volumes. That way I could just binge read it and actually see my full thoughts on the series. I did enjoy the anime, but I feel like there's some questions in the anime that weren't necessarily answered. I know that was kind of rushed because obviously the studio that did animate it went bankrupt. So hopefully I can get more clarity within the manga. I know that the manga has a different ending and some scenes in the manga are actually kind of different. So I can't wait to read Dead Man Wonderland. I hear really great things about it. We got Zom 100 Volume 2 and I really enjoyed Volume 1. While I feel like there wasn't enough substance, I feel like this is a series that I really will like because it is a comedy zombie manga. And I really don't have any zombie mangas, but Zom 100 was a series that I kind of enjoyed. And I really liked the front cover of Volume 2. Kind of like superhero esque and the series reminds me of Zombieland a little bit. But I do actually like the main protagonist. I do like his philosophy where basically when he was actually living normal life, he really wasn't living. He was just actually working his whole life while he wasn't experiencing life. But now that all these zombies have taken over, he is actually getting to experience life and live to the fullest. And if you guys have not seen my Zom 100 Volume 1 review, go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But yeah, Zom 100 Volume 2, definitely can't wait to read this bad boy. We also have Comey Can't Communicate Volume 7 and 8. You guys know that I've been enjoying Comey Can't Communicate. If you guys actually want to review on this series, ask me down below because if i see enough people really want this i'm gonna definitely hit y'all with that review i have talked about it a little bit on my stream so far and honestly i am really enjoying the series and i know that there's an anime annotation coming out soon for it but you know i gotta snag up the volumes i gotta read it i gotta see which one i'm gonna prefer more the manga or the anime itself i'm definitely gonna watch the anime i gotta support but i also gotta read the manga too to see which one i really like but yeah comey can't communicate volume 7 and volume 8. <sighs> Comey is just so wholesome. And the last thing I picked up from this haul is another Nasty Man manga. And Jerry has been asking me to get this bad boy. And it is called Super Heroes and the E. Well, no, there's an X between the H and the E. And this is pure Nasty Man. Like usual with these Nasty Man volumes, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see the back. You guys can pause this and read it for yourself because I'm not about to let this video get demonetized. But you guys know I'm a Nasty Man. If you guys want me to review any of these Nasty Man series, let me know in the comments down below because... <laughs> 
reviewing Nasty Man manga is honestly fun. Giving you my thoughts and views on this Nasty Man manga. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's about it for the haul right there. Hopefully my clips from earlier were pretty good or pretty well edited. I'm not really sure, depending on while I'm recording this, but hopefully it comes out really well. I wanna say thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, you have not already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, post notification bell. I'd like say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out, peace.